So after the way that trial ended, there's no way things can possibly get any worse. I actually have no idea what we're going to be investigating here, if there are going to be any new locations, or a new crime scene, or what. I'm really not sure. I have a vague idea as to who the new victim is, but we'll see. Exactly, that's pretty much my line of thinking too. <laughs> this is like, yeah, one of the most insane things that's ever happened in one of these cases, where technically convicted people walking at this point. <laughs> so normally you get these things quite often and then someone runs in with a hold it at the last minute and yeah, but this time it actually stuck. So I don't know where we're going to go from here. Yeah, these kind of flashbacks are pretty common after a, uh, a to be continued because usually when people save after these, sometimes they could take a bit of a break from the game, so they have to recap stuff like this. Yeah, when they said a more severe punishment, I thought they were already pushing for the death penalty, so I don't even know what's going to happen now. Yeah, so there's the one more dead person. Thing is, that's kind of obvious because she used it in the ritual. Oh, of course, I thought it was. Yeah, it's him. I did feel like, what if he was dead from the start? He... they made a big deal about how he wasn't moving, how he was just in that same spot. Especially not one who's considered guilty. Yeah, this is interesting. Rafa's taking this a lot harder than she usually does. I am a sad princess. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. First time she just stormed out in immature rage, but this time she's taking it a lot harder. Interesting how we're seeing different sides of her as this goes on. That was fainting number two. This is basically the flashback episode, isn't it? You know, if there's a new victim, I wonder if we'll get a new divination seance. Yes, giving up is not in Phoenix's vocabulary. We're the one floating the possibility now. Oh, he's deliberately getting her to come along, isn't he?
<laughs> and she's back to her usual self. <laughs> I have noticed that this song does sound a little bit like Maya's theme. Which might be hinting at something. Oh, of course, we're going to get the whole evidence shuffling. I thought we would. We, we already have a ton of evidence. Okay, unnecessary evidence unloaded onto Albi. The thing about this, though, is that sometimes it can be a bit of an interface spoiler. Anything that is not unloaded, you know is going to be is going to still be important. Oh, okay. Oh, right, that's the same autopsy report. Is this one updated with the new person, or no? Okay, wow, we did lose quite a bit of evidence. Which means we're probably going to be getting quite a bit of new evidence here. Thankfully, nothing that was retained uh, feels like it could be a, any kind of a major reveal or something that's happened. That's always a difficulty when some people write... Um, okay, probably shouldn't talk about that here. Sometimes when people write fan cases, they make the mistake of getting rid of a ton of unnecessary evidence. Except for, like, one piece that you really think, wait a minute, why didn't they get rid of that? And it's blatantly spoiling that it's going to become the key to the whole case later. So, I guess we have to go to the... Wow, we still have all of our old locations, but I'm pretty sure the Plaza of Devotion is the only one we need to go to now. I wonder if we'll get any new locations at all. Is it just me or have the prayer flags changed now that I think about it? I can see a prayer flag that really stands out. Yeah, they use... Oh, yeah, no, of course! Look, yeah, you can see it right here. On the very right, there's a purple prayer flag that was not there before. So I think that was specifically done to draw your attention to that. Oh, hey, Phoenix has already noticed it. Uh, or whoever did this. Hmm. But I mean, uh, I still think that maybe he was... Zealot was dead for a while. I don't think darts would have killed him. <laughs> oh, please don't be who I think he is. Oh, of course. Yeah, I was really hoping that wasn't, uh, wasn't darts. That would be kind of scary. How oh, has Emma seen her there before? I like Braver's way of speaking. Yeah, Emma never even testified. That was kind of... odd. Uh, we couldn't get anything out of that witness, though. It was really him that was the real issue. Okay, Emma's being pretty helpful. <laughs> okay, now firstly, I definitely want to check that prayer flag. That was definitely not here before. Yeah, but... I mean, I understand that, but this is a crime scene, and that was not here before. Huh. It, 
I don't think it's a prayer. I think it's a request to meet someone. This looks more like a letter. Yeah. But, hmm. Bring the key, unless this is connected to case one somehow. That's the only key I can think of. But grub could mean several different things. Whether it's the sl slang for food, or whether it's actually, uh... Whether it's actually something else entirely. Yeah, if he was killed by a stab wound... Huh, I don't buy that, though. Unless... Unless... yeah, that dagger was found in him, but unless he died from something different... Namanda. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, there are flowers that have similar meanings to that in other cultures, too. Expresses heartfelt... Huh. Now, why would that be important evidence? Unless it's something that we have to present to someone at the end of the trial. Yeah, he was pretty much exposed, though I still get the feeling that he may have actually been dead a long time. I think he was dead the moment we first got here. The very first day of this case. Okay, nothing new there. I suppose... there really isn't that much other than those things, apart from that little yellow spot there, but I don't think that's important. Yeah, I think we just need to talk to Emma here. Not really that much here, but... Sometimes it can be useful to present new evidence you just found at that crime scene to the detective. They sometimes add things about it. Pure Zealot. Thankfully, not the, um, not the other Zealot who has terrible growth rates. He was also staying in his house, wasn't he? Because he's still on my list of suspects for who could have lived in the, uh, who could have left that letter. So it was discovered during the trial. Yeah, I think he wasn't here praying. I think he was here dead. That's just my current theory. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, it happened in his back, and... Yeah, it went over his neck. So yeah, that explains why there isn't any there at the scene. Yeah, I was wondering about that. We haven't... They, they've talked about the, the records having... If you look at Tarist Inmi's autopsy report, yeah, records of who has what marker kept at the temple, that has not come up yet, so that's obviously going to become more important here. Yeah. I think we need to figure out what that tattoo means. May 9th. That was... Yeah, that was earlier. I think I might have been right. Okay, sometime between the start of the right... Yeah! Drink. Huh. But Lady Kira was there. If she was the one who killed the priest, then how could she have also killed 
him at the same time. The same dagger as well, I mean... Kira in the right was holding that dagger out and it didn't have any blood on it, so... There's a lot that doesn't make sense here. So they did talk about purifying the dagger as part of the ritual. All oh, right, they're saying it happened after. Well, clearly it happened before, because they said May 9th and this says May 10th. Okay. Alright, okay, here we go. It's kind of annoying the two autopsy reports are so far apart, though. It's a bit hard to keep track of the similarities and differences between the two of them. <laughs> Why don't you consult your portable internet? <laughs> Do not insult science in front of Emma, that's a very bad idea. Well... <laughs> okay... I wonder if the fact that it was freezing has anything to do with this. Oh, okay... Because in the series before, someone has actually frozen a body to throw off the time of death. But here they had a ready-made freezer, the entire area itself. <laughs> um, okay, as funny as that is, Fahrenheit still makes no sense to me. Yeah, this is why I just I had this feeling that no witnesses at all. You know, for some reason I'm just now imagining this as a really it's like a really dark version of that game that I used to that we used to play in school where we'd all put our, our heads on the desks and someone would go and tap someone. The principle's the same, just a lot deadlier in this case. Oh, that's why. Yeah, I had a feeling it was covered up by something. And I still think when we saw him there, he was already dead. That's, that's my theory currently, and I'm sticking to it. So who's going to testify if there aren't any... I mean, I guess Emma, maybe. The dagger, yeah. Thing is, though, Maya held it during the ritual. The fingerprints could have could have gone onto it then. Huh. Now that we have a second victim, this is starting to get a lot more complicated. Because if both crimes happened at the same time, Kira would have had to have come down here, grab that dagger. If my theory about him being dead before was correct, Kira would have to come down here, pull the dagger out of his back, go up, stab the priest, and then come back down and put the dagger back in his back. Back. Yeah. Actually, have I checked this yet? Oh, wait! Okay, this is May 10th. Right. But, like, during the night. And here... 
There doesn't really seem to be all that much out of the ordinary in that photo. Just checking. Well, they think she's the vigilante, don't they? But do we have any reason to believe that Zealot was a... Uh, was a rebel? Well, we don't fully know that yet, but it seems very likely. If only we could find some information that... Some definitive proof that Tara Sinmi was a rebel. Maybe he would have had some documents somewhere hidden that would reveal things. Yeah, the timing does add up, which is the problem. Like, I had a feeling Maya was going to be accused of that from the start. Alright, okay. No, that's a bad idea. Yep. <laughs> yeah, best way to get Emma out of here is to uh, threaten to threaten to tell the prosecutor on her. Yeah, we need to visit lots of places. I wonder if you have anything to say about that prayer flag. Now that I think about it. Uh, nope. I do like this theme, though. Just thought of something. You actually do have something to say about that! You send a hundred... It's like sending a hundred postcards to get a hat, now that I think about it. <laughs> uh, no, not that. Anything else here that she might have something to say about? Not really, I don't think. Guess we have to just move somewhere. Where else we've got? In the Sanctum. I wonder if there'll be anything new there. I'm pretty sure there won't be anything new for us at the Detention Center. I'm just wondering who else in this case could have a psych lock on them. Okay, we don't have any, like, new location thing here. Oh, but I guess we probably have different dialogue considering Albie's not here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> kind of interesting that we get different dialogue here now that we have a different system. Whoa! Yeah, they did say that cry was supposed to scare children. <laughs> Consulting your portable internet again. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. In Australia, we have this bird called the lyrebird, which is an insanely good mimic and has been known to mimic things like camera flashes and chainsaws. I still want a Pokemon based on that now. <laughs> I 
poster. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. But then again, uh, everyone, Phoenix ends up unwittingly paying for everyone, so it's kind of normal for him at this point. Anything new at the Inner Sanctum? Doesn't seem like there would be much new here. Yeah, nothing new here. So I suppose we'd have to check out either the Detention Center or the High Priest's house. Yep, we've got something new here. Now we know that picture on the walls of the Queen. Thing is, with Zealot ruled out, you're one of the few characters with portraits in this case. And that doesn't bode well for you. Ray for the Mind Reader strikes again. Particularly about Acolyte Zelod. Oh yeah. because there's another date of the trial, also. Okay. She seems nice enough. <laughs> well, at least it's cool that um, he considers Athena and Apollo like that, but anyway. What do you know about him? We don't really know all that much. Yeah, that's around the same time Lady Kira started appearing. Huh. This has always been a little bit... The time when they first met Zelos, that has to be important to this case. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought, and the same time that Lady Kira... something that he owned around here. Doesn't look like there's much in the drawers, but... We can still examine this. I vaguely recall there's some other point in the series where you have to rummage around garbage, but... I don't know. Okay, nothing in there. Yeah, it didn't look like anything anything new was there. Already checked pretty much most things, actually. Oh, wait! There's a photo! Let's see... Okay... 
Oh wow, she looks really different when she's... Huh. Let's just check what's... Let me just get a closer look at that when it's not obscured by a text box. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything up with the food there. So she's holding that. Nothing look. Oh. I just noticed something. Look carefully at the wife. Look at her arm. It looks like she might have been the one that Maya traded the Steel Samurai watch to. I thought it was... it, it had to be... I was expecting that it was uh, Prey Zelot at first, but... Uh, if it's her, that's definitely important. Do you have anything to say about this? Yeah. Okay. Now, I just want to check for a second if, um, the markings on his... Yeah, no, nope, there's nothing wrong with those. Nothing wrong with that either. Nothing wrong with the markings there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. That's similar to uh, a lot of things in many cultures. Huh. Strong smell. Huh. That is very specific. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I get the feeling that he was killed very shortly after he left. Ah, oh, that's not good. Yeah, there was ice. Huh, there's always the possibility that when he was going out to pray, he was actually the Lady Kira Vigilante. Hmm. Well, I found something in that photo that's important, but... Let me check here. Only prayer during the feast starts at noon and on the day before the rite and must be finished before 3 p.m. the same day. Yeah, that's understandable. I still feel like if we could just find some kind of document, something that the 
the high priest had on him that talked about rebel activities. Yeah, this seems very short for a second day investigation. There's got to be a bit more. Okay, yeah, we don't have much else to go on here. I wonder if there'll be something new for us at the detention center. I guess so! A little suspicious that we haven't had a psych lock yet. Because I doubted that uh, that Believe would have two in the same case, but... Yeah, she just happened to be staying with the wrong family at the wrong time. That's what he always does. <laughs> Turn the trial around. At least she's respectful like that, but... Yeah, I'm wondering just what's gonna happen here. How are they gonna overturn that verdict? Yeah, the, the thing that, that went wrong twice in a row. Yeah, yeah, you have that. That's totally helpful. <laughs> yeah, this talk had to happen sooner or later. Well, it's... that was kind of necessary. <laughs> I think... we have just, uh, made things worse. Yeah, she doesn't actually seem that bad. Really. I'm sure we'll find out more about her much later on. Anything that we can talk to you about? You know, I wonder if we present the photo to her if she could point out the Steel Samurai watch. Yeah, that... something happened then. And I'm suspicious that something similar happened to Phoenix as well. He claims it was his back, but... F 
female. Uh, at the moment, there's some things about Perez Zilot that are kind of lining up with Lady Hira. This could be an inverted Samus as a girl situation. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like he didn't really... He wasn't really all that, um... that of an outgoing person. Heh. <laughs> Heh. <laughs> kind of a quick retcon on that, yeah. So, uh, there was some about Maya being a fan of ramen that got changed to burgers in the English version, and then the noodle stand they frequented actually became a location in Apollo Justice, and they had to hastily go back on that, so yeah. Okay. Okay, what exactly did you do there? They claim that someone just put that thing on the statue, but... Oh yeah, I'm sure you will not be on the plane back home after this. There is a few more cases left. Heh. <laughs> All your favorite burger joint. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that's actually a pretty nice reference in a way to all of the uh, fandom jokes. It's kind of funny, there is actually a place near where I live that actually does ramen, like, literally ramen burgers. So, <laughs> that's, they actually are a real thing. It's not just a joke in this fandom. Is that the Steel Samurai bag? I have a feeling that the text beeps have gone quieter, too. Oh... That definitely sounds important! And something... and with something so important, uh... Totally not gonna have been stolen by now. <laughs> now that is very interesting. Yes, let's not hold uh, let's not tell her that we have hold of the Grimoire of true names. Now, I wonder if you have something to say about this photo. Because I can clearly see the Steel Samurai watching it. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how that smell is going to play into things. It definitely did not show up in the victim's memories at the time. <laughs> well, they don't seem to be saying anything about the watch, so let's go back. Why do I get the feeling that something is going to have happened to it by the time we get here? Huh, is Believe not in? Doesn't sound like it. 
That means she's probably going to walk in and interrupt us at the worst possible time. <laughs> no, it would not. Yes, even the one assistant in the series who's an actual thief never steals anything. Although Maya has multiple times, admittedly. Okay. It's almost certainly in this bag. <laughs> and we're gonna... Yeah, there we go! <laughs> and it's someone else's favourite show too, but he doesn't like to talk about that. Yeah, I remember that. That would mean that, that the wife originally had that charm. It's going to be gone, isn't it? I can tell. Oh, no, it's still here. Unless a page of it's ripped out. Um, can we look at it? The priestess acting as Lady Kira's representative must know her name. That name is... Imsan. Hmm. Speaking this name is unforgivable. Lock this knowledge deep in your heart. That name... I can't quite tell... If that's related to... <laughs> yeah, don't let her find out. Interesting. So what about the Tome of Secrets is particularly special? This is the second object in this kingdom that's been rumoured to make people go blind. And of course she consults Portable Incense again. Okay. Which means that the wife is the one who normally plays uh, plays Kira, so she would have known this information too. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, we already know that. Wow, it contains her true name! That is brand new information! We have never already known that this whole time! There's no way someone would have already told us! Huh. Wait a minute! Does someone need to know her real name in order to channel her? That's what I'm wondering. I thought so. Oh. oh, that's why the Holy Mother's face is forbidden, so nobody can... That's interesting. That has to be important, and, and probably why Lady Kira has a mask as well. Yeah, that's definitely why. Yeah, of course it is. 
The Queen has the ultimate jutsu no jutsu. Yeah, no, we've already actually heard about this. I have a feeling that this was the case. Which means we can probably rule out Lady Kira being channeled by Believe, unless Believe is secretly the Queen. <laughs> yes, it's a secret. Oh, we don't know anything about that at all. We have never heard those two words used together in the same sentence in our entire life. No. But, um... And this is good. <laughs> and I've never seen that happen before. That's obviously got to be important. Okay, right, so they wouldn't know anything else. This this almost feels like she's explaining the limitations of a Dungeons and Dragons spell. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay, you've never been invaded, interesting. Starting to wonder whether someone could have, in the past or something, killed someone just so they could channel them, though. And that's why Maya can't talk about it. Definitely. Hmm. Oh yeah, what about you? But she will be able to eventually. Oh no. Yeah, don't say that out loud, that's a bad idea. Oh, once fulfilled by the Queen. Okay. <laughs> While well, I get the feeling that'll happen later. Is she going to threaten to channel Phoenix if he dies in this trial or something? Uh. They are similar in some ways. Who may be her very, very, very distant cousin. And yeah, I did realise that her theme does sound a bit similar to Maya's. Yeah, we've had a bit of an exposition session this time. Uh, 
it mightn't, unless Belieb is an illegal spirit channeler. Yeah. <laughs> well, you'd have to know her face as well, and that's probably why she's always got it covered with a mask. Yeah. But... Well, it's... Considering the insurgents really seem to have it out for her, it's definitely a possibility. <laughs> I thought she was going to say, a Pokemon! Again, it's not a dead end if Belieb is an illegal spirit channeler, but I'm not sure about that. Oh, what? Have they found darts? They might have. This could be a lead, actually, if we can talk to him for a bit, but I doubt he'd be that willing to talk. Uh, I had a feeling he'd be showing up again, though. Yep, he's back. <laughs> yeah, but that's exactly what I'm thinking. I think we need to find him and ask him some questions. <laughs> If he really was a rebel, he might know more about Tarist in me. <laughs> oh, hi, Albie. Unless there's a secret hideout somewhere here. <laughs> yes, he could be in a giant yak costume. Well, considering this escape prisoner is uh, has described himself as the Fangs of Dirk and seems like a... Uh, and is a former soldier and definitely knows how to kill people, it's... Probably understandable to be a bit scared. Huh. Okay, you just have the generic responses, so you clearly don't have anything yet. Well, it doesn't seem like he's in the yak. What about the uh, note floor panel doesn't seem to be important? That door looks like it could be, though. already examined most of this area. Nope, nothing under the table. Yeah, we've already talked about the yak thing. Oh, right, the poster of Lady Kira. <laughs> okay, that's not the, that's that's the same. Wait a minute, what's that thing underneath? Oh. Unless there is a secret hideout down there. Yeah, he's not exactly a police sniffer dog, but... Oh... Right, that would be... Hmm... 
That would be... Uh, hmm. Yeah, how about the prayer flag? Yeah, considering that uh, that's only just appeared there and he's recently escaped... <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Shadow is the new missile. Yeah, well, I think we should probably get back up if we're going down there. Yeah. Yeah, but Maya's life's on the line here. Even Maya's not all that confident, but we have to change this somehow. I really think we should have backup before we go in. I'm sure there's going to be a conveniently timed um, big damn heroes moment if we do get into trouble, though. I had a feeling we'd have at least one new location this investigation, but... Hmm. Uh, what about... Oh, no, that... Ow. <laughs> Maya's charm doesn't have a light in it, does it? Or was he just whacked and knocked out? That's not a good sign. 